Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was all about the aerial stems. That means the stems which we see above the ground. Now let us talk about sub aerial stems. That means there are some stems which are neither above the ground nor below the ground. So they are like an intermediate between aerial stems and underground stems. So let us talk about sub aerial stems now. So when I talk about the sub aerial stems, we will talk about the creepers. Because creepers are sub aerial in nature. So what are creepers? The name suggests they will creep along the ground. So the branches creeping along the ground. Now you might be wondering what is the difference between a trailer and a creeper then? Because the trailers also trail along the ground and the creepers also creep along the ground. So what's the difference? In case of trailer, you would have seen that the branches always trail above the ground. But in creepers, we will actually see just in a while that they not always creep above the ground. Sometimes they creep below the ground and then suddenly they, they emerge out of the ground. So we will have a look at them. Now in creepers we will, we have four types of creepers. Runner, sucker, stolon and offset. So these are the four type of creepers that we will be discussing now. So we will start our discussion with runner. So you see they have got all very unique names. Runner. What do we mean by runner? Somebody who runs, right? So here also we will see that these stems actually keep running along the ground. How? They are again a modified sub-aerial stem. They run horizontally on the surface of soil. So on the surface of the soil, they will always run horizontally. Since they move horizontally in this fashion, that is why they are known as runner. So in runner, their internodes are quite long and roots develop at their nodes. Now, if you look at this picture, it will become clear to you. So this is an example of a runner. So if you see here, this is a modified runner. So you see, it runs horizontally along the ground. And you see, these are the nodes. So at nodes, roots have developed. So roots develop at the nodes. And if you look at the internodes, they have got quite long internodes. So the internodes are very long, nodes from the nodes develop the roots and they, the stem run horizontally on the surface of the soil. Now examples of runner, a very good example would be grass. So grasses are all runners because in them the stem runs always along the surface of the soil. Right? So this is, so here what happened, where does the new shoots arise from? New aerial shoots always arise from the axillary buds because here we also have the aerial shoots like this. So they all arise from axillary buds because at the nodes or at the axil of the leaves, you will have buds which will give rise to the new shoots. So that's all about runner. Let us look at the sucker now. Sucker is again a modified uh, sub-aerial stem. They are shorter However, stouter than runner. So they are not as long as a runner, but they are shorter but stouter. They arise from underground part of stem. So even here, roots develop at their nodes. They also bear leaves. Example is menta. So here you can look at the diagram or the picture of a sucker. So here if you see, here also it is creeping along the ground, but it is creeping under the soil. So they arise from the underground part of the stem. So this is the stem. This is the aerial part of the stem. This is the underground part of the stem. So from underground part of the stem arises these, which again creep along the ground. And then after some time, they actually come out over the soil surface. So this is how they grow. So here if you look at the structure of a sucker, you can actually see that they are comparatively shorter. I mean, when you look at 
the length of the runner, it used to be like this, right? It used to be running straight horizontally. So the length was comparatively longer in case of a runner. But in this case, it is comparatively shorter. It arises from underground part of the stem. So this is the stem, underground part of the stem, it actually is arising. Roots develop at nodes, again at the nodes you have roots developing. So these are the roots developing from the nodes. They also bear leaves. Example is mentha. So here, I mean, these, these stems will actually bear leaves. So and this is an example of a sucker. So examples of plants where you can see these kind of a modified sub aerial stem are banana, pineapple, chrysanthemum. These are some of the examples where you see suckers. The third type is a stolon. It is again a modified sub aerial stem. It arises from the base of the main stem. Okay, so somewhat like this. So this is the main stem. So from the base of the main stem, this kind of modified stem or stolon will arise. Now just look at the way it actually grows. It doesn't grow along the ground. It is not creeping along the ground, but it goes slightly above the ground. And then again, gradually it comes towards the ground. And again, it will gradually go above and again it will come to the ground. So that is the pattern it grows. So it grows aerially for some time, then again goes downward. So this portion, if you see, it is growing aerially. Again, it is coming downwards. It touches the ground where the terminal bud will give rise to new shoot and roots. See, at this point, when it touches the ground, it will give rise to new roots. It will also give rise to new shoots. And then again, it will start growing aerially for some time. And again, it will touch the ground. So this is the pattern of a stolon. So a very good example of a stolon is strawberry. And also in mint, jasmine, we can see stolon. So, so do you observe what kind of pattern do the creepers follow? So the creepers, they will always creep along the ground. Sometimes they will creep under the ground. Sometimes they will creep over the ground. So that is why they are categorized under sub aerial steps. That is, they are neither completely aerial nor completely underground. So that is why they are sub aerial. So let us look at the last type of creeper that is offset. Offset is again a creeping aerial branch. So most of the time it is aerial, that is it is above the ground. They have short internodes, unlike runner. In case of runners, they had remarkably long internodes. In case of offset, they have quite short internodes. A very good example of offset is water lettuce. So water lettuce looks somewhat like this. So here you see a tuft of leaves here. And then again it grows horizontally and again a tuft of leaves here. So what happens here is it produces at the apex a tuft of leaves above and a cluster of roots below and that is how the pattern is. So at each point if you see at each uh, at the apex you have a tuft of leaves above and you have a bunch of roots below. Again a tuft of leaves above, bunch of roots below and it keeps creeping aerially. So this is how the pattern of a water lettuce or an offset is. It is also seen in other plants like Arconia or Pistia, which are mostly aquatic plants. So these were the four different types of creepers or the sub aerial steps. So we discussed about the modifications of aerial stems, modifications of sub aerial stems. And now, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.